Hey guys, so I'm back with another tutorial. This one, I've gotten a lot of requests to do a look inspired by Candace Swampole. Uh, I've been getting requests for a while and I just finally got around to it. Um, I was reminded when I got my Victoria's Secret catalog in the mail. She just is gorgeous. Like She has those gorgeous blue eyes, those big like pouty lips, and just like the perfect face. And she has a nice butt as well. I would like to compliment her on her butt. <laughs> um, obviously, she's gorgeous. All the Victoria's Secret angels are gorgeous. And I haven't done a look inspired by her, but I love her look. Usually is a very kind of golden, sun-kissed look like most of the Victoria's Secret looks are. But this one is very shimmery. I think it will look gorgeous out in the sunlight for the summertime. And it really just kind of plays up your eyes without being so heavy. Um, I don't have any false lashes on. Um, this is an inspiration picture. Obviously, I don't look like her. I'm not blonde, and I don't have similar features to her other than we both have blue eyes, but that's pretty much where the similarities stop. But it still was fun to recreate her look. I hope you guys liked it, and if you want to see how I did it, then just keep watching. To start off, take any medium warm tone brown eyeshadow I'm using Buck from Urban Decay and apply that to your crease just to define it and create a nice transition for the following colors that we're going to use. And taking the Mayor Posa palette from Urban Decay, I'm using the shade Limelight which is a gorgeous shimmery kind of chunky glitter gold color and applying that all over our lid. This gives you the signature Victoria's Secret look. Then to deepen up the crease, I'm taking the color Wreckage from the same palette and applying that into our crease just to make it a little bit darker and define it a little bit more. This is a really gorgeous shimmery taupe color. Underneath our brow bone, we're going to be taking this shimmery cream shade called Skimp. And this is just going to provide a nice little lift underneath the brow and to make it pop a little bit. Then I'm just going to go back in with the shade Buck, the medium brown shade, and just to blend that out a little bit more so it's nice and even and there's a nice transition. Next, take any brown eyeliner. I'm just taking this one from Wet n Wild in Coco Riche and smudging that along the upper lash line. Want to wing it out on the end to imitate the look that Candace has going on in the photo. Then I'm just smudging it on the lower lash line as well. take some of the eyeshadows and smudge them underneath as well. For the outer three quarters, we're going to be smudging out Wreckage, which is the shimmery taupe color. And then on the inner quarter, we're going to be putting the golden shade, which is Limelight, and then also the color Skin, just to make your eyes look really awake and bright-eyed. Then just go ahead and apply your mascara as you normally would or apply false lashes if you want it to be more dramatic. Blush, I'm just taking this really pretty coral pinky shade from Tarte. It's in the color Natural Beauty and it just gives you a really pretty nice blush natural looking color to your cheeks. I love it and it's very similar to what Candace usually wears. Then adding a little bronzer using Tarte's Mineral Bronzer and Hotel Eris and just using that to contour a little cheek or a little cheeks. <laughs> um, we're going to contour our cheeks a little bit and then just add a little bit to our nose to look sun-kissed. Then just taking a light baby pink lipstick. This is Max Cream Cup and I'm lightly applying this to our lips so just to add a little bit of pink 
and then over top I'm gonna be prying my favorite highlighter which broke and I'm so sad about it um, this is from the bomb this is Mary Luminizer and just applying that over top just to give it a nice glow and that's it that's the finished look inspired by Candace I hope you guys like it and thanks for watching